This is the Latin, Latin assignment for the 6th of March um, for Latin 111 at Wichita State and high school Latin uh, first year uh, at the independent school. Sorry about the noise, I'm still in the hospital um, and so there will just be noise from time to time. There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, okay, what I want you to do in, is in two two things. I want you to I'll go through all of them with you. I want you to divide the text. So do this on a computer is easiest. Um, divide the text um, by grammatical unit. Which I'll show you what I mean right now. So whenever you come to the is one rule is one verb per grammatical unit. So once you have one, that unit is is done. So Tito and is convenient. Convenient is a verb. Um, there are two things that show you that this is a uh, a breaking point between clause one and clause two. Uh, the one is the comma here. Sometimes this this rule doesn't work, but that's uh, that's be the first. Actually, write down the word comma. And that that ends. It, it acts as a divider between two grammatical clauses. And the sh clause starter, dum while, that that typically begins a new clause. Dum Trojania Sicilia ad Italiam navigant, uh, while the Trojans sail from Sicily, Italy. And here I see another comma. So I'm going to do it like this. See how easier this, how much easier this is to do on a computer? Um, if you're at a computer, of course. Um, and then so there's a second verb, first verb, second verb. Venit magna tempestas, a big storm is coming. Semicolon, used in English for to distinguish two sh sentences of short length um, next to one another, rather than putting in a bunch of periods, for example. Um, so the semicolon tells you there's a, a break there. In the next clause, um, there are these commas around the phrase Rex Ventorum, um, which is a, another thing that you can do in English um, is to set off. Um, this is called a, um, a juxtaposed um, modification. Elis, comma, king of the winds. You might just as well have said est king, est rex ventorum. Okay. So in this case, this is this is not a separate clause. As you can see, there's no verb in it anyway. So it just means king of the winds. So we'll ignore that for the time being. Elis rex ventorum un omnis ventos emitit. We're going to call that the verb. It ends in T. Why not? Ends in a period. Troiani in magno periculo sunt. Nec is the Latin word that means and not. Okay. And those are called typically uh, conjunctions by part of speech. Uh, cursum tenere possunt. So the verb, um, this ver this contains one verb. Four, five contains one verb. Um, there's a period here, and a, so that would mean, I'm guessing. Um, next, tandem venti eos ad terram ignotam pellent. You can see, it's not uh, some in some ways is exceedingly easy to do this in Latin. 
because of the number of times um, uh, the verb comes at the end and then there's some mark of punctuation or some connective like a conjunction. Another word for co a conjunction is a connective. Um, this word tandem, I have a question about, so I'm going to do a little experiment with you. Um, I'll, they, we have a database of all Latin classical literature. It's quite easy to um, search for. It's called the Packard Humanities uh, Institute Texts. And I just had a question of how long, how many times does tandem come at the beginning of a sentence? So now I've got like 10 pages, 1,558 matches of these. So early on, no, I skip ahead a couple hundred years to, oh, still in Claudius. So sometimes it does, as here, punctuation, tandem ut, here not. So um, this, this is sort of unreliable um, predictor of a new clause. But we have a period here, so what's the problem? Okay, Troiani imnavibus exeunt is a verb. Followed by a connective, et. In litera quiescunt. followed by a period. Okay. Post vidia, Aeneas constituit terum explorare. Um, so, constituit. This, this connective is important here. I'll show you more and more. Post vidia um, is used an awful lot in this book as if it were a conjunction, but it's really just a temporal adverb the next day not really a predictor of a new clause. Um, what predicts that here is the, the break between quiescunt and, and uh, uh, constituite. Okay. So period, new clause, commitibus dicit, colon. Colon is something you put like before a, a, a new statement you're introducing, like a quotation. Bos proprum nave is maneta, plural. And underline that a plural imperative, a shorthand, my shorthand for which is that. Mihi propositum est in interam procedure. It is my just a second here. There we go. <clears throat> Sorry about that interruption. I ah, just had to get the plug to plug it in. Um, okay. So in any event, you see how this goes. Uh, the main thing that I'll, I'll want you to be able to say after the whole, the whole text is um, uh, completed in this way, which I'll, I'll do right now, is I want you to be able to say why there is a what what tells the reader there's a break um, at the points that there are breaks. Okay. So if you were to do it on this one, you say comma, comma. Um, I think you just put punctuation, I guess. But then you'd lose your opportunity to say semi semicolon. Funny kind of word, semicolon. period um, okay. uh, so starting with um, uh, 14 uno, uno, uno cum amico column ascendit et prospicit um, there's several ways you could handle that but I would just say there are two verbs next to each other they can't be in the same clause um, so they're just parallel clauses 
he, he looks out. He climbs the hill and looks out. Okay. Um, multos amicos videt qui is a relative pronoun. Um, you could just write uh, clause starter for that. Or sim in simple English, just write qui begins a new clause. Ta -da. And he is eos um, spectat. O fortunati, just ignore inquit here. We're just going to ignore it. Um, Vosu rum yam facietis, with a strong punctuation, no semper and undis eramus, strong punctuation, close quotation mark. Tandem column ascendit, strong punctuation, urbim intrat, et acadit, ad vagum templum, period, strong punctuation. In templi mores multi picture sunt, um, Strong punctuation, and as a double check, you can see that there's one and one only finite verb that is a verb that, in, in this case, it ends in T or some other personal ending. That's there. Aeneas pictura spectat, strong punctuation, and then on a, a very short sentence after it, conatus este, strong punctuation, nam. Uh, often begins a, a new clause. So you could justify this by saying nam begins a new clause. Right. Uh, 28, amicum vocat et eke amici inquit in hac pictura prima videre potes. So this is in dialogue, so it, it's disguised a little bit that potes is the finite verb that we're looking for that we need to separate from the other, the other thing. Okay. Uh, except in this case, it, that, that quite doesn't work um, so, because the next sentence then would be et okay. So uh, in this picture, priam, see, you can, is what it literally says. And it's, we just do it like this, and Achilles. Okay. And everything, everything else is implied from the previous sentence. Or you could just leave it there, which I think is much easier. And I wonder why I didn't do it in the first place. Okay, number 31. Hic est Agamemnon, eke hic Achilles, Hectorum mortuum, circum muros urbis trahit, as verb plus strong punctuation, noli tenere, it's a two-word sentence. Troianorum laborius omnibus notai sunt. Cl uh, strong punctuation, close quotation mark. Dum templum spectat. So, um, dum begins a subordinate clause. Eke, Roma, uh, eke regina, nomine dido. Um, should be... A division there. So Dido uh, comes to him with many princes. Period. Strong punctuation. Um, Aeneas curit ad eam et et is a good is a good uh, um, connective. So if you see an et between two clauses, that's a good indication that it's two distinct clauses. Oh, Regina inquire sucura nobis. Sucura is the verb here. It's an imperative for a single person only. So we write, notify it like that. Troiani sumus. Qui, so qui, as I told you above, begins a new clause. Okay? So that's a very short clause, and as it happens, sumus 
um, means we are, just like navigamos means we are sailing. So those are distinct clauses. Tempas, tempestas, nos ad tuam, teram pebulit. Period, close quotation mark. Adido, aniam, spectat, admiration, and plene. Semicolon, so strong punctuation. Uh, if we check, there is a finite verb here. So um, that's no problem. Then there's more quotations. So just ignore the, the surrounding structures and deal with the quotation. Fama, Trianorum, omnibus, nota est, period. Um, Novita temere, period. Ego vobis laiti securo. So securo means I give aid. And there's period, a strong punctuation mark. Ili eos benignia capit, capit, et ad regiam ducit. De in de omnes principes cartagines et omnes trianos apulias vocat. Um, for the, by the standards of this book, very, very long sentence. Um, there's only one finite verb, vocat. She invites um, two groups, all the leaders of the Carthaginians, second group, and all the Trojans to a blank, to a banquet. So the connective here just jo um, uh, just joins two subparts of the clause. Ubi cana confecta est. Ubi falls in the same category as qui. It's a word that begins a, a, a new clause. Um, Dido aga inquit. Aenea nara nobis uh, troiae casam. Not very polite, but there you go. Um, aga is the imperative form of ago. Um, uh, and so it's a verb form. Nara is also a verb form. Tell, come on, she says, Aeneas. And then without punctuation, with only a comma to go by, you see how um, there's an, a, a second verb. So you have to assume there's punctuation here because Otherwise, you'd have two punctuation, two uh, verbs next to each other in the same sentence, which you can't have. Uh, next one, et omnes labores Um This is just the second part, the second thing she wants to, them to tell. The first thing, the first thing she wants in her. Um, Tale, the tale of woe is the Casum of Troy. Second thing she wants is the troubles of the Trojans, of every one of them. Okay. So that's just a single sentence, single finite verb. Omnes tacti sedent. Et, so a connective. Aneum spectant. So you see how it's, you couldn't really put these two together. All the Trojans sit, look at Aeneas. Um, so that is two subordinate, two uh, separate main clauses. It's period, illa respondit, very short. Um, and then the quote, in fandom regina me ubis. You order. So unless that, there is no other finite verb in this, uh, between the open quotation mark and the period, so we're going to call that an in, a, a subordinate, uh, a Separate clause. Sed si cupis cognoscere audi troiae supremus labores. Um, so let's just get this straight. Um, first of all, you would uh, cupis, like ubis, see how it's, he's talking directly to Dido, and so he uses this to form. Um, okay. Um, Audi, another um, order form here. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's about it. So what I'd like you to do is for all for all of these items that we've gone through here, 
Um, and all the items on the next page, uh, we uh, well, well, they're all, uh, we went over all of them. Um, I just want you to identify the reason um, there's a, a break between two clauses. Uh, most of which we just talked about. If you're um, confused about it, just review the video. Uh, thank you.